Hello again, my name is John Blowers. Um, we are here again to talk about uh, Passive House, energy efficiency, zero carbon construction, anything and everything which is going to improve um, how we build today and how we're going to save energy and how we're going to prevent less carbons. Now we've talked about Passive House on a previous video. Now how do we achieve what we, or how do we get the knowledge that we need to achieve an individual build um, to get to that standard. Now we've spoken about um, the Passive House Institute and how they've come up with the five basic principles, but every project is an individual. Everyone has to be treated independently. So that's where something PHPP comes into play. That is Passive House Planning Package. What that does is that gives um, you the information you need to your build to achieve passive house standards. There's many things which are taken into consideration here and it's done by very clever people, much cleverer than me. But what they do is they calculate um, what your building is, the shape and the volume and what you need to achieve um, passive standards. And they take things into consideration like the orientation of the build, where the property or the construction actually points in, into the sun um, because they take solar gain as uh, a, a for, form of heating the house or a way of controlling the environment you're living in. If you can imagine you've got the sun here during the summer and the sun down here during the winter. So the calculations will be They'll take the size of your windows in consideration, the orientation of the build, and come up with a form of shading. So if you can imagine, to get solar gain during the winter when the sun's lower, you have a shade, so therefore you can get some solar gain off it. But you don't want to overheat, so therefore it's worked out that during the summer, when the sun's higher and hotter, that you're protected from it. All these little things are taken into consideration under PHPP. Um, whether you need um, things like uh, thermal mass. Thermal mass is um, a great thing for helping to control an internal environment. That is where a product or a substance would absorb energy and store it. And then when the um, ambient temperature around it drops, it will release that energy again to help mediate that area or that that volume of air. Um, that's thermal mass. Um, so we've got thermal gain, we've got thermal mass. The amount of insulation, the U values of your walls and windows will be taken into consideration. Whether you need thicker walls, or thinner walls, or different types of insulation, because there are many different types, which we shall be covering in another video. But um, that is PHPP, Passive House Planning Package. That's just a small, insight to what it is it does. It gives you the information you need for your build to achieve passive standards. PHPP.